Hey y'all, Scorpion here. <clears throat> this is my first actual 3D print for somebody. Um, if all goes well, this will be casted in sand and uh, poured with the Devil Forge outside. Uh, as you can tell, it's, it's a little large. Lighting's not the best. But it's taking up most of that board there, so not something I can pour inside with a small electric one. Uh, if you can read this, we got a nozzle temp of 205. It's set for 205. Heated bed is 70, set for 70. Um, it said 16 hours estimated time. We're at 8 minutes and 39, 40, 41 seconds. Uh, so and we're running at regular speed here. So, uh, first print 16 hours and we had to build that print ourselves which is a learning curve in itself so anyway uh, we'll see how it turns out Alright, so this is the first thing um, that we have created here. Um, me and Golden Dragon both worked on numerous designs and doing different things, trying to get this to work like it, like we felt it should. Um, this looks like it's going to be the final design this is going to be casted in sand and poured in either aluminum or copper we have not completely decided yet this is actually a company a uh, small real small company here in our area um, that deals in candle wax and uh, stuff like that right now I think it's kind of a at-home business they're working on getting them a storefront but I saw them and I liked their little design and stuff and I hit them up and I was like look I'm gonna, I'm gonna create something for you and I was I, you know I was just gonna do it for free because I need to learn I knew I was gonna need to learn there was gonna be a learning curve and uh, told them I wanted to take their design and uh, 3d print it and then cast it in sand so it would be in metal and they were excited about the idea and told me that you know they wasn't going to let me do it for free you know what was it going to cost and I told them I wasn't charging anything because I'm learning um if they wanted to they could donate some some cash to me or something but it's just something I wanted to do for them so this is uh, my first kind of finished product I'll show the actual finish when this is done we're uh, probably about let's see 25 and a half hours in to the print with about an hour and a half left so we're looking at 20 about a 27 hour print um kind of excited Hope this turns out well, we'll see. But um at the beginning of this video I showed you the uh the failed prints. <clears throat> but that's all part of learning. So anyway, hope y'all enjoy. Stay tuned for a second. I will drop a couple pictures of the finished of this because it's not quite done yet but she's getting close and uh, I guess that's gonna be about it so y'all stay tuned all right 
So here it is, it's complete. So let's see what it looks like. It's thick enough. Hang on a piece of wood, it'll stand out. This is glue. That cleans off. It's got an inside lip on it. And everything uh, appears to have come out pretty good. We're going to see how it does when I cast it in sand. That will be a later video. That will probably be done on my Scorpion Metals channel. But the weather's going to have to be good and all that wonderful stuff. And I'm going to do it as a closed mold. Hopefully help that pressure. Make sure everything comes out good. If the smaller letters don't come out good, I'll have to cut them out by hand. But I think these should be fine. So I'm pretty pleased with it. As I said, it was like a 30, 30 hour print. And it was, uh, what, fourth, fifth try, something like that. Let's see what we got over here. Yeah, so that's kind of like the first one. Layers didn't stick together well. You can, you can kind of see through it. So we stopped it there because it detached from the bed. <laughs> and then this one detached from the bed. That's why it's curved. And it was dragging and you can see through it. So we changed some uh, some more settings and tried again. Of course everything's loose back here. So then this was like, no, actually this was the third. So I've got a whole another print of it. But I didn't like the way it turned out. Everything was too too loose. And uh, your letters didn't come out too well. A bunch of them didn't. So we changed some more settings. Started a fourth print. This one adhered to the bed beautifully. But as it was printing, I got to thinking... Those letters aren't big enough. They need to be bigger. And I didn't quite like the layout that I'd made for this. So we uh, put our heads together and come out with it this way so it's set in. There's no little, you know piece right here on this it's straight to the bed and then it, it's raised up and we made those letters a little bit bigger so hopefully we'll be able to pour them when we cast it but it's going to be an interesting cast to try we'll see how it turns out I think I used about half a roll of filament doing it probably more than that but I'm pleased with it 